Okay. Did you want to grab the room key? Just in yeah, case I got we need it. You got yours? Okay, that's fine. Pretty nice. day. Pretty Lingo day. Lingo is That's like huge, right? Yeah. Yeah, but. Gracias. Gracias. Tengo buen día. We made it to Patagonia. Thank <laughs> all Now off to the hotel and buy some supplies. Buenas, como estas? We showed up to Puerto Natales a little early, so we had to walk around the city and we went grocery shopping and enjoyed a pretty nice coffee and brownie, or at least I did. So now, <laughs> now we're at the Vin House and it's time for a room tour. I booked this place because it seemed like the nicest place in Puerto Natales. So we're gonna see just how nice it is. What did you order? Sapoya. 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 <laughs> yeah, salmon with a lemon risotto. Okay. No, no, it's good. Okay, this is where. Yeah. It's like a slow smoke. We finally made it to Torres del Paine after two buses, a confusing transfer, and a guy who came off the bus and accused me of stealing his poles because he said, these poles look exactly like my poles and I can't find my poles. And I was like, well, no fucking shit, Sherlock. These are black diamond <laughs> poles. A lot of people have these poles. We're headed off to Camp Cerron, starting the O circuit. Nine fun-filled days of Patagonian goodness. What's really interesting about this environment is that it's kind of a combination of the Grand Canyon, the Alps, and maybe Alaska? or the Rocky Mountains, because it has that really cold, windy tundra feel to it. It's really interesting. I'm interested to see the north side of this park.
Gracias. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Um, ¿Hablas inglés? Yes. Uh, last name Gomez? Gomez? Sí. But we arrive at Red Ferry by 11 and you're saying there's a kayak from both the port here. Well, I've got a question mark. Today, yeah. So I'm not really sure. Oh, I know, I get that part too, but. It's a struggle to stay in bed for a week. A little metal hook on the cord broke that attaches to this thing. So, I think the lesson learned is don't take the duplex to Patagonia. It's about 10 o'clock and uh, Chad and I are wiped out. So after we got to camp, we talked with a bunch of people. It was a lot of fun. Well, we're turning in early because um, I wake up around seven tomorrow. We've only got like 11 miles to go tomorrow. So tomorrow night, um, I think we've got dinner at one of the refuges. So I'm looking forward to that. Are you waiting for it to cool off? Wait, is it still burst? Oh, it's already boiled. Oh, I thought, sorry. No. I thought it was, <laughs> But maybe you didn't want it that hot. We got out of camp about eight o'clock this morning. I woke up at six. I had to go to the bathroom. I've been holding it all night and I didn't want to get up because it was too cold and the wind was too strong. And when you're in a camp, you can't really just piss outside your tent. So anyway, I couldn't take it anymore. At 6 a.m. I got up and I went to the bathroom and by then everyone had started to get up. So we fixed breakfast. We patched the tent. There were a couple holes in the tent and today it's about the same as yesterday. When the sun hits you, it's kind of warm, but when the wind hits you, it's pretty cool. We've got 11 miles to go today. We expect to get to camp by like one, and so we have a lot of time to kill. So we'll probably just take a break up here and enjoy the views. The military coup where he came to power, right down to where the people kind of voted him out. Yeah. Uh, Punta Arenas. Punta Arenas, yeah, down in the south. Yeah, down in the okay. south. So we go okay. there first and then. Pass that down. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> Chad and I got in here about 2 p.m. after a pretty 
easy hike today, only 10 miles, 11 miles, and um, it was a bit windy, kind of warm, but overall it was pretty easy. But my legs were a little bit tired when we came in. We had a great dinner, talked to a lot of people, so it's been really fun. It's got kind of a party atmosphere here, so <laughs> it's uh, not what I expected, um, but it's a lot of fun. So now just relaxing, um, stretching out in front of the mountains, and uh, tomorrow I think we're gonna take our time until we get to the next camp, Los Perros. Finally getting out of here about 9.30. Dixon was a lot of fun. Great dinner, really good night's sleep. Woke up with a little bit of a headache for some reason. It's only a five mile day today, so it should be pretty easy. At the next camp, is it Perros? Or Perros, yeah. Yeah, so the next camp, Perros, we're gonna get in and then we're gonna try to do a hike to a glacier in the mountains because we have plenty of time today to kill. I told Chad I was gonna do 50 push-ups a day so he's holding me to it. Now it's push up time. After a strenuous five mile hike, we have made it. Yeah, it's Miss Mejor's Viejo. Uh, it's about 6 p.m. here in Camp Perros. It has been raining pretty much nonstop since we got here. We're pretty much sitting in a pool of mud right now. You know, I think we'll stay dry through the night, but tomorrow we ha have to pass over John Garner Pass and it's gonna be really wet and really cold and really windy. There's a lot of people in this group of hikers that's not feeling well already. They're having pain in their feet, their, their packs are too heavy. Chad and I are gonna wake up at 5 a.m. and try to get out of here by six. So, I don't know, I just, I hope no one gets into trouble tomorrow. Okay, just, uh, I was talking about the weather, just the way he said it, he sounded exactly like that. Yeah, maybe. Let me see your neck. Not too bad. Not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday you were kind of swollen. Yeah, I think Rizik was kind of just building up, like going, holy shit. What was your favorite part of the day? Um, seeing the glaciers, by the way. Oh yeah, that was pretty Be cool. And before it rained. Seeing the glaciers was pretty cool. But, um, you know, I really enjoyed the dinner conversation tonight. Oh, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Just like sitting around, talking with people yeah. in English and Spanish. 
it's kind of cool because we're with one group that's progressing from site to site and we'll be pretty much that way up through Paine Grande and then after that I think we might start to split up because different people have different campsites in there yeah anyway tomorrow I think is gonna be a really miserable day because we're gonna wake up in the rain no it's not gonna rain yeah I refuse okay. to believe it's gonna I think rain. you're gonna need to believe it when, when we wake up in the rain I will yeah Please. no I think we're gonna we need to be prepared to wake up in the rain and then hike all day in the rain so it's not gonna be fun it's gonna be cold All right, yeah, your water bottle. I'm gonna start breaking down, okay? Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay. 5 a.m. was good enough. as good as it gets I mean it was beautiful it was a cold wind this morning but we hit it right at sunrise it's just incredible and this is the largest goddamn glacier I've ever seen in my life <laughs> it's amazing Go first, Chad. After 30 years, my sunglasses finally broke. Oh well. We made it to Refugio Grey um, about 2 o'clock, and um, it's a really nice place. We went into the cafe and had a burger, uh, chatted with some trail friends, and then we put our junk in our room right now. So. At five o'clock, we're headed off on a kayak tour of the glacier. And uh, after that, dinner and maybe even a shower. It looks like... Where's the hongo? Okay. Hongo. 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 Gracias. Buon appetito. Salud. Cleaner though. 
water. Yeah, I was in that one, but that one that looks, looks disgusting. That one looks like black hole. <coughs> it's like someone was made of dirt and then they got dissolved in the shower. <laughs>